Surveys are a great way to allow our customers, our contacts to provide feedback, for us to learn from them and even to gain new subscribers. And today's task is all about creating a survey and then publicizing that survey. To create the survey in MailChimp, we quite simply either can click create and create survey or even in our audience, if we view our contacts, we can click surveys and we can click create a survey. Let's start building our survey. The important thing to remember about surveys is a survey is a form on a hyperlink, on a URL. It's not something we can actually embed in email or embed in Facebook, etc. It's It's stored on a MailChimp URL and we'll see that a bit later. But for now, we click add questions. I like going directly to design and just designing it for your own own needs. You could include a logo if you want to. That's entirely up to you. Uh, you can add custom messages such as um, please uh, tell us how we are doing. You can put whatever you um, spelling's not great there, is it? Uh, you can change the the submit button and, and and so on that's entirely up to you the background color if you really want to you can change that the button color etc etc but let's get back to questions uh, the questions we want to add and this is entirely up to you what you want to add but i'll click add questions there are five types or of questions we can ask and in this case um i'll click the 0 to 10 range but but you can choose your own questions um how do you Right, our service. For example, uh, let's set the low range, not great, and let's set the high one as fantastic. For example, uh, you can make this required or not required, that's entirely up to you. Um, let's add another question just to show you, and I'll click email. And this is where uh, we can get people's email addresses. And this is great if you're wanting to get new contacts um, or even associate the answers that people give you to, to the MailChimp profile, um, your email. Let's just put that in there. We can make it required if we want to, um, and we can ask people to subscribe. This is critical. If you want people to subscribe, uh, if you don't add us to subscribe and people enter the information, you won't be able to send them email marketing. Right, so let's name our survey um, and let's just call it how is our service. You, you can call it anything you want to. Okay, save and close. So we've created the survey, but now we need to turn it on. Turn it on means make it live online. So I'll click turn on. Various other you know options we've got. The important ones here are we can share it on Facebook, and this is the second part of the task um, is to share on Twitter, for example. We could click that. We could share on Facebook, or we can even share by email. And I'm just going to demonstrate this very quickly. Um, but before that, anyway, let me just show you uh, what the survey looks like online. I'll just wait for that to load up, and that's how simple it is. And the people can come, or, or, or you know, your people you send this to can come and enter, uh, you know, answer your questions. There's the URL, but let's just come back. If I click share by email, this is how we would share the survey by email. Again, we cannot embed a form into an email, but what we can do is send a link to the online version. So if you want to um, attribute the responses to people already in your audience, you can click link with automatic response attribution. You can read more about it there. And that's the link you would add to email marketing that people click to enter the, uh, the, into the information into your survey. Without automatic response attribution, that's the link you would use. Alternately, you could just come and copy the survey URL and for example, email it out, add it to your Instagram, whatever. That's how simple it is to create a survey, a great way to get feedback, even get new contacts.